we are here we're given the gradient which is dy by dx so we're given the gradient of the curve and we have to work backwards by integration to find the equation of the curve so going from dy by dx equals 2x plus 2 y is going to be well, if we integrate 2x the power goes up to 2 and in fact that's it because if we differentiate x squared we get 2x if we integrate 2 we're going to get 2x again check if you differentiate 2x, you're going to get 2. And don't forget that when we integrate with no limits, we have to have the constant of integration. Now we know that the curve, so this is the equation of the curve, but we need to find out what c is. We know, however, that the curve goes through the point 3, 0. So what I'm going to do is substitute that 3, 0 into the equation of the curve. This is x and this is y. So instead of y, I'm going to put 0 is equal to, right, x squared, well that's 3 squared, which is 9, plus 2 times 3, well 2 3 is 6, and that's plus c. So 0 is equal to 15 plus c, which means that c has to be minus 15. We can now just go back then to the equation of the curve and substitute in that value of c. So y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 15. That's the equation of the curve. Mm -hmm. curve.